rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. City 17. You have chosen or been it's chosen? Just, it's all I have left. To one of our finest all right, I'm moving. Are you the only ones on I that train? I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. So, whether you are here to stay, wait a minute. I see three on your way to March on the Ocean. Welcome to City 17. It's safe. A mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm gonna be behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea of getting here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. That's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll be up.
Doctor Breen, why has the Why has the Why has the Dear Doctor Breen, why has the seen fit to suppress our reproductive Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Thank you for that. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological agencies. With all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best, best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us get us again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time Oh, oh, I thought you were a cop. Thank you for writing. He's one of us. Of course, you're still biological influences. All that's associated with hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some questions. I can't take it anymore. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What are we going to do? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision? 